Hi, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. Today I am working on a card for the Color Throwdown Challenge number 487, which is the colors mint, red, and pink. And I'm going to be pulling out a couple of sets from my favorite things that go nicely together called Kitschy Kitchen and You Bake Me Happy. Uh, but before I do that, first I want to make my background. And to do that, I have a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock that I am taping down with some painter's tape and along with um, a brick stencil from Prima and some Liquitex light modeling paste that I am applying with a palette knife very thinly. And I'm doing that very, very thinly because one, I want it to dry a little bit quicker and also because I just want a little bit of texture in the background. I don't want it to be too crazy. And so once that stencil is removed, I use the palette knife to scrape away the paste in the places that I don't want it and then I'll set it aside to dry when I'm done doing that. I'm trying to go for a little bit more of an organic look here just by pulling away some of it that didn't maybe get completely complete or um, just places that I'm not really really excited about it. And when I go to uh, take that tape off I do tear it a little bit but I'm gonna trim the panel down anyway so it's not a big deal for me. I just love the look of that white on white. It's very subtle but you still have some texture in the background and I think it's really nice. See, I tear it there. So for my stamping, I grab some my stamp platform and some more Nina Solar White cardstock, along with three Stampin' Up colors in Pool Party, Real Red, and Regal Rose. And I'm not sure if those are still available anymore. I don't follow Stampin' Up a whole lot, but um, I have them, and they're pretty colors, and they go with the challenge. So that's what I'm using. So I'm using that stamp platform in case I need to double or in some cases triple stamp my images, which with those little canisters I did have to triple stamp. And I'll do the same thing with my little picture there, and I do that with the real red. I have all the re-inkers for all these, and um, I'd like to upgrade and maybe get some different colors from some different companies. But so far these seem to be working okay. And I stamped the little coffee cup in the regal rose color. And because I was too lazy to clean my stamp for the coffee cup, I used the stamp packaging coming up here to help with the placement. And uh, as you can see there, in this, this way there's no ink transfer where I don't want it. I just pull that backing away and then I can just stamp it down. And I'll stamp one more too. Now I'm going to use my Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink to stamp the words tea, sugar, and flour on the little canisters as well as to stamp my sentiment. And that sentiment reads, made especially for you. So at this point, at, while trimming all my images, because I didn't want to show you all that, because I want to run those through my little die cutter machine, I realized that I had trimmed too much from around my sentiment. And I, so off screen, I go ahead and I stamp the sentiment again. Ugh, I, you know, sometimes I forget I'm filming, so I don't always, <laughs> I don't always have the best awareness. So I'm stamping it off screen, but I'm realizing here that my, the die that I've chosen for that, which is actually another My Favorite Things die that I don't have written down. But I will, I will put that down in the description below. Um. I think it's the fish tail. It might be. Anyway, I now I'm grabbing, I've, or I've taped all of my dies into place with some washi tape to be able to run those through those that Sizzix sidekick there. And I just love that little machine. I got that a few days ago for my birthday and I'm just using it like crazy. And the, these are the dies that match with that kitschy kitchen and it comes with a die that doesn't have a stamp for it. Uh, that's that little shelf there. My panel is dry, well, mostly dry, but I'm gonna go ahead and heat it with my heat tool to ensure that it's totally dry. And this card only took me about 30 minutes to make, really, from, from start to finish. So that Liquitex stuff dries pretty quickly. And my card base is five and a half inch, or I'm, I'm um, scoring it there at five and a half to make it a top folding A2 size card. Now I'm just kind of looking at placement, but I decide to apply my panel with some Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue. 
I've talked about this a million times how I like to use it because it does have a little bit of wiggle room in there if I don't get it placed perfectly. And for the rest of my little images, just because I didn't want to bore you, I put foam tape on the back of all of them. And uh, deciding my placement again, where I want those. That shelf is neat because it has two layers to it, so you can pop it, really pop it out, which I think is so neat. And I don't do the greatest job of putting it down to start. This is where a grid would be really nice. And I do have one back there, but I really like having my craft mat behind there. So you can see it's kind of crooked, but I didn't push it down all the way, thankfully. And with that liquid or the uh, Liquitex back there, I have a little bit of wiggle room as well. Now I'm just going to adhere all of my elements to the card front, popping them up with that foam tape. This card ends up being fairly dimensional once everything is down because the shelf has two layers and the canisters are layered uh, as two as well. And I'm going to bypass some of it because, boy, taking off all that foam tape kind of gets <laughs> a little monotonous. But I just love the way this card turned out on the front. I just think it's so cute. Kind of modern. And I love those colors. It was a good color challenge for sure. To decorate the inside, I'm going to use those same colors that I did for before and a bowl from that Kitschy Kitchen set. And I'm just going to stamp those one on top of the other. And I don't particularly, it doesn't really matter to me that things don't stamp perfectly because it is the inside and I'll probably write over most of that anyway. But I like how it turned out. So if you liked this video, I would love it if you liked it by hitting the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you've done those things, thanks. And as always, thanks for stopping by.